In today's video we are going to be stepping up our Python coding a notch and we're going to start to draw some visual elements using code. So as you can see we're going to start quite simple today, we're just going to draw ourselves a circle um, and from there we're going to learn how to draw a few other different shapes in the next few tutorials and eventually you'll be able to start to put together these shapes to create different images and that's when you can start to make your own little games in Python. Thank you, Doke. So to get started on this circle, what I'm going to get you to do is just open up Python and make yourself a new file. So I just want a blank page like so. Now the first line of code that we're going to write in is we're going to import turtle. Okay, so what we've got here is two things. By importing turtle, we are importing a library full of code which is the turtle library. Okay, it's a whole heap of code that's been written for us by um, other programmers, and it saves us having to write a lot of that code. Now, the turtle. Turtle is basically a little turtle, actually, that appears on the screen and will draw stuff on the canvas or on your window for you. Okay, it's going to make more sense once we start to code up this circle, and you'll see the little turtle in action as he draws the circle for you. Okay, so once we've imported the turtle library, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a window pop up. Okay, that's the window that's going to display our circle. So I'm going to make a variable called window. And we're going to write window equals turtle dot screen and then open and close a bracket. Also notice that screen has a capital S. So what that is doing is it's accessing the turtle library that we imported before. So all that code that somebody else has written for us. And inside of that library, there's a function called screen. Okay, and it's going to run that function. And all that function is going to do, it's going to pop up a new window on our screen for us. Okay, doke. And that screen is basically going to be a canvas for us to draw on at the moment. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to put some color onto this new window that's popping up. All right, so I'm going to write in turtle.bg color. That stands for background color. And you can see that color is spelt the American way. There's no U after the O there. Okay, so we write turtle.bg color, and then in brackets and quotation marks, choose whatever color you want your background to be. So I'm just going to write yellow and close the brackets. Now you've got loads of colors to pick from. Have a look at this. There's all the different colors you can pick from in Python. Okay, so feel free to just pause the video and have a look through those and just pick a suitable color that you want for your background. I'm pretty sure most of these will work. Alrighty, so once we have our background color sorted, we might test out our app so far. So I'm going to save what I've got. I'll just call it circles. And I'm going to run the code. So we should see two things happen here. We should see a new window or a new screen pop up. And the color of that window should be yellow. Okay, so let's run that code. There we go, so here's our new window that pops up. And the BG color, which is the background color, is yellow. Alright, good start. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose the color we want our circle to be. So we're going to write in turtle.color. And again, notice that I'm spelling color the American way, so there's no U in there. Now in brackets, I'm just going to write in magenta for the first color. I'm going to close my quotation marks and put a comma, and then I'm going to put in cyan as my second color, and close my brackets. So what we've done here is we put in a stroke or a border color first, and after the comma we put in the fill color, so what the um, circle is actually going to be filled with. Alright, so we'll keep going, that's pretty straightforward. If you want you can put in a comment, so using the hashtag there, and just show the order, so stroke color first, comma, fill color second. Alrighty, remember comments, this is just plain, simple English, it's not actually code. Okay, the computer will just skip straight past that because the hashtag's there and the color's gone red. The computer knows it doesn't have to read that because it's not code, so it'll just skip straight past it. Okay, it's just there for our use to make our code a little bit easier to read. Okay, if you want to put some more comments in, it might be a good idea. So, pop up a new window and change the background color of the window. There we go, just get my spelling right there. 
All right, so we've got our colors chosen for our circle. Okay, so the next thing we might do is start to draw our circle. So I'm just going to write in turtle dot begin underscore fill. That means we're going to start filling in the color of the shape we're about to create. I'll open and close a bracket after begin fill as well, because what's happening here is we're accessing the turtle library once again, and we're looking for a function called begin fill. Okay, and begin fill is just going to fill in whatever shape you draw next with a solid color. Okay, so to draw a circle, super easy, we just write turtle dot circle. Okay, and then choose, what do we choose? We choose the radius, so I'm going to write in 80 as our radius. It's 80 pixels. And then at the end, we just write turtle dot end underscore fill. And then open and close a bracket. And that will stop the fill color being used anywhere else. All right, so let's save that and have a look and see if we fill in a circle um, that has an 80 pixel diameter. Okay, that's working well. That little arrow you can see, that's the turtle. Okay, so the turtle just went around and drew that circle for us. One thing I might change on this circle is just the size of the stroke or the border. It's a little bit skinny at the moment. I'd like to make it a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in this gap here. So after turtle.color, I'm going to write turtle dot pen and then size and just use a number for the size so I'm just going to choose size 5 okay, so that's right change the stroke on the shape okay so turtle dot pen size accesses a function in the turtle library called pen size and you just need to tell it how big you want that border to be okay so let's have a look at that we'll just save it and run it you can see now that the stroke or the border around the circle is a lot thicker at size 5. And that looks pretty good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Last thing I want to show you, another line of code you can use with the turtle window, is we can write in down the bottom here, window.exitonclick, and then open and close a bracket. Exit on click simply means when you click the page, anywhere on the page, it will close off. So I'll just show you how that works. So we draw our circle, and now if I click my mouse anywhere in this window, it disappears and exits the program. Okay, so we'll just put a few more comments here. So I'll just put one up above here. Draw the circle and fill it with color. Um, radius of 80 pixels. And then this last one here down the bottom is... When the page is clicked, the app closes. There we go. So that is all we're going to do for our coding today. So make sure you save that up, and when you run it, make sure that you see a little turtle, draw the circle, and fill it in whatever color you ended up choosing. Thank you, Doug. So that is how you draw a simple circle using the Python turtle.